Hi everyone, welcome back to these dance and movement workshops with me, Tara Baker. So the nights are drawing in now, uh, it's getting a little bit darker and we can see the nighttime sky and there's lots of magical things in the nighttime sky that we can see. Um, so that's what our workshop's going to be about today. So if you can, there's a few things that you'll need for your workshop today. And if you can find some fabric that are in these colours, so we've got red and orange, or maybe a bit of yellow, things that look like burning balls of gas or shooting star colours, maybe some silver, silvery sparkly stars. They can be any size, they can be big or small, any type of fabric, they can be silky, I've got some silky ones, some black ones like the nighttime sky. So if you can find yourself some of those bits of fabric and of course not forgetting your special teddy. So if you've got a teddy that you like to dance with or move with, go and grab him. And last but not least, a telescope. So you can have a toilet roll or a kitchen roll, something that you can have a little look through to have a look in the nighttime sky. And if you want to, you can decorate it before you start this workshop. So these are the things we need. So we need some fabric, we need a special teddy and our telescope. So remember, I can't see you. So it's really important that you follow these really simple steps. Number one, Grab a grown-up. Number two, clear the room you're going to dance in. Number three, socks off. Number four, a warm-up. It's also really good to keep some water to hand in the room you're going to dance in. So we're going to play a game of I spy and I'm going to use my telescopic eye to spy things in the sky. So if you can jump up and find somewhere to stand in the room and we'll get started. Okay, so are we ready? Are we ready to have a little look in the nighttime sky? So here we go. Oh, let's have a little look over here. I spy with my telescopic eye something that begins with C, the letter C. <gasps> wow, it's a comet, a comet. So we're going to do some swoopy circles with our arms. So you can, use, if you've got your fabric, so comets are the colours of yellow and orange or gold, whatever colours you've got. We're gonna do some big circles with our arms. Have a little go of doing some big circles. So you can do your right arm and your left arm. See if you can do some nice big circles. And if you've got your fabric, see if you can make it a really big stretchy circle with your fabric. So big circles, whoosh, swoosh, swoosh, swoosh. Can you try doing two together? Swoosh. Big circles. Whoosh. Can you go really fast? And then circle around the room. Can you make little circles? Circle round and round. Go round one way and stop. Can you circle the other way? Round and round and stop. Try your other arm. Here we go. So circle one way, round and round, and stop. And back the other way, round and round, and stop. Amazing. Wow, so many comets. Let's see what else we can spy. Let's get my telescopic eye. Here we go. Here we go. So we've got I spy with my telescopic eye, <gasps> something beginning with the letter S. <gasps> oh wow, <gasps> it's a shooting star. So 
So we're going to have some shooting star moves. So we're going to go from really, really small, because it was really small in the sky, and then it's getting really big as it's traveling across the sky. So can you make your hand really small? So really small hand, and then make it really big. And again, try it with two hands, really small, and really big, amazing. So shall we try that with our bodies? If you've got your fabric, you can use your fabric as well. So scrunching your fabric up, really small, and standing in the middle of the space. And we're gonna crouch down and make our bodies really small and then jump out and do a big starburst. One, two, three. Wow! And then in again. One, two, three. Shooting star. Now let's see if we can shoot our stars from our hand. So we're gonna shoot our arms out in different directions. So let's try. So squeeze in your fabric or squeeze your hand. If you haven't got any fabric, we can use our arms to make them really long and use our fingers as stars. Here we go. One, two, three. Zoom, shoot those stars. And try it with the other hand. One, two, three. Shooting stars, wow. Shall we try that standing up? So you can try with just your hand and zoom your hand forwards. You can try it with your fabric and then you can throw your fabric and see it shoot across the space. One, two, three. Shoo. Try it with the other arm. One, two, three. Shoo. Wow. And if you want to, you can have a go at doing some shooting stars. You can pause the video if you want to and have a go at playing with shooting stars in different directions. But we'll carry on. I've got one more thing to have a look at in my sky with my telescopic eyes. So I'll take my telescope back out. Here we go. Hmm. I spy with my telescopic eye something beginning with M. The letter M. It's the moon. It's a big full moon in the sky. And it's so bright. It's so bright. So if you've got some moon colours, Maybe you've got some silver or some black or grey and we're going to walk as if we're on the moon. So if we can practice walking on the moon, we've got to roll our shoulders nice and slowly because there's no gravity on the moon. So everything's really slow and really calm. See if you can float one hand and float it back down and float your other arm and float it back down. See if you can float your legs and test your balance. So floating one leg and back down and floating your other leg and back down. Brilliant balancing. So if you've got your pieces of fabric, you can use them to put on the floor. You can make a little, a little moon rock you can screw them up and put them somewhere in the room. That's A to B. So we're gonna travel from A, from moon rock A to moon rock B, or you could hold them and float them if you want to. It's up to you what you want to do with them. And we're gonna walk, we're gonna moon walk really slowly from A to B. You can go in a circle if you want to, like the moon, but let's moon walk together really slowly. Here we go. Slowly rolling the shoulders, float. Moonwalk, wave our hands. Slow. 
I'm going for one more rock, really slow. Amazing slow moonwalking, excellent. You can play around with that a little bit more if you'd like to. You can pause the video and you can do some more slow moving around the moon. But we're gonna carry on now. So from our moon, we're gonna blast off somewhere. So I want you to get ready. So you can use your fabric as a launch pad. You can use one piece on the floor, a little square if you've got a cushion you want to sit on or stand on. So we're gonna make a launch pad in the middle of the room. So imagine you're still on the moon and we're gonna blast off the moon. Are we ready? So I'm gonna count down from five. And when I say blast off, you've got to do the biggest jump you can. Are we ready on our launch pad? Here we go. So five, four, three, two, one big jump wow those jumps were massive let's try it again so jumping back onto your launch pad shall we do it again ready five four three two one blast off wow they were so big so we've gone from big from small to big, just like our shooting stars. Amazing. So we'll try our countdown again. And this time you're gonna zoom your rocket. So you're gonna zoom in a circle around the room. And if you've got your grown up there, they're going to catch you. And you're gonna have a little turn around. So catching grown ups. So underneath the arms. And we're just gonna go around in a circle, back down onto the launch pad. Are we ready? Here we go, so on your launch pad. Five, four, three, two, one. Blast off and run around and catch and spinning around the room and back down on your launch pad. Amazing, well done. So if you'd like to pause the video and try doing that a couple of times, go for it. So count down from five, running or walking to your grown up and spinning round and landing back down on your launch pad. You can try that with your teddy as well. So holding your teddy and spinning them round and putting them down on the launch pad. So we're gonna land back down on earth now. So getting in your rocket ship, we're gonna land back down on earth, have a lie down on the floor. So slowly sitting down onto the floor and lying on your backs and I want you to look up at the ceiling and imagine that there's no roof on your house and all you can see is the dark nighttime sky and see all the twinkly little stars in the nighttime sky. So lying down, I'm going to count to three and you're just going to take a nice big breath in through your nose and push it out through your mouth. So lying there with a nice star shape on the floor and having a look at the twinkly stars up above. Here we go. So take a big breath in, a big sniff through your nose. One, two, three, and <sighs> lovely. And again, maybe have a little look somewhere else in the nighttime sky. And take a big sniff in through your nose and go one two three and blow and just bring all of that excitement of zooming around and bring it back down to earth wow amazing look how big this sky is it's so big and so sparkly, it's so lovely. So we're gonna try and spot some different stars in the sky now. So if you'd like to get up to standing and find them somewhere in the room, we're gonna have a little go at doing a spinning star. If you've got your fabrics, you can use your fabrics. So we're gonna do a spinning star on the spot. So standing up, 
So with your fabric, we're gonna spin around on the spot after three. One, two, three, spinning round. And freeze. And see if you can spin the other way. After three, get your fabric ready. One, two, three, spinning round, spin around, and freeze. That was amazing. You can try that again. You can pause the video and you can have a practice of spinning round. So that's our first move. That's number one. Now we're going to try doing some twisty stars because I can see some twisty stars in space. So we're going to twist. So it's a little bit like spinning round, but you stay facing forward. So always face me, face the camera. So we're using your fabric if you want to use some more you can so we're going to twist on the spot so have your feet a little bit further apart and twist and twist and twist and twist or you could have your hands together and twist twist your arms twist From side to side. Wow. Brilliant. So number two is a twisty star. Twisty star. Shall we try one more? So this is an upside down star. So can you go upside down? Can you have a little go? Of going upside down. Everything looks a bit funny when it's upside down, doesn't it? So have a go at going upside down. You don't need your fabric for this one. But if you've got your grown up, your grown up's gonna help you go upside down. Or if you'd like to use your teddy, you can. So if children lay on the floor on their backs and grown ups, you're gonna hold on to their ankles. So holding on to the ankles and gently peel legs, bum, back and head off the floor and then very gently sway from side to side. And then letting arms come into contact with the floor, the head, the back, the bum, all the way back down to the floor. And children, you can try doing this with your teddies. So holding onto their legs, and very gently and slowly peel them off so they're completely off the floor. And then very gently, you're gonna sway from side to side, an upside down swinging star. Let's have a little go. So parents in a ready position on the floor, tucking the toes under, underneath, so you're ready to come up off the floor. Holding onto the ankles, swaying from side to side. You can build this up, you can go a little bit slower if you need to, or a little bit faster. You can be brave and turn around. Ooh. And then fingers, head, the spine, the bum and the legs, all the way back down. Scoop up, give a big cuddle, big squeeze. Excellent. So that's our upside down star. So we can try putting those all together. You can put them in any order you like. We'll do a spinning star. We'll do a twisty star and we'll do an upside down star. And if you've done your own version of an upside down star, that's brilliant. So we'll go with that. So we'll count to three in between each one and we'll try sticking them together. And if you want to come up with your own star at the end, go for it. Here we go. 
go one, two, three, spinning star, round and round, and freeze. And this time we're gonna go for a twisty star. One, two, three, and twist. And freeze. And we've got our upside down star. Here we go, one, two, three, upside down, and sway. Wow, and safely back down to the floor. And your own star at the end. This can be a position or it could be a move. Off you go. Well done, brilliant. So you can pause the video and you can use the music in the video or if you want to use your own music, put your own music on, you can. And you can add those three moves together to make up your own star dance. We can have a little practice. And if you'd like to, you can record yourself doing your star dance and you can post it to the Cooper Gallery Facebook page underneath this video or on the main Facebook page. So look for the details at the end of this video and it would be amazing to see your star dances. I hope you've enjoyed today's session. Just to finish off, if you'd like to get your fabric, any colour fabric, and we're just gonna give each other some special golden stars to each other. So if you'd like to get your fabric, it could be any colour. And I want you to screw it up nice and tight in your hand, really squeeze it tight so we can't see it. And then you're just gonna allow it to very slowly open up. So squeeze it really tight and then very slowly allow it to shoot out. <gasps> And you can go zooming or zigzagging or spinning around the room and try to see if you can do it with your other hand. So swapping over, see if you can screw it up really, really small, super small. And very slowly we'll count to four. One, two, three, four. And off we go, spinning and twisting around. Enjoy doing your star dance. And I hope I see you soon. Bye.